Back in November, the cast members from the play A Class Act were featured on our show to talk about how they were establishing a showcase of scenes, monologues, poetry, and song. We're now about to show you and get highlights from this fantastic show. Take a look at this clip and you'll see what I mean. just saw there was just highlights from the shit play from the play at class act so Tony I know you we've talked already but let's get to know the other three actors first so I'm gonna go to uh, Lauren first oh I thought that was <laughs> <laughs> you, you two look alike. I'm sorry <laughs> so you you've done like a lot of perf acting performances mm -hmm. and you made your debut with the new life performance workshop so Tell us how that all started and let, got you into like taking a part in a class act in a play here. Absolutely. Um, so I was just kind of searching online for um, a, an acting class. I was like always interested in it. In it. I took mm -hmm. a class like uh, about a few years ago um, and I really liked it. I didn't, ended up not pursuing it because I kind of got stuck in the day-to-day -day life of work mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then came across <laughs> this awesome meetup group. Um, which I got really excited about. Uh, I walked in the first day, met Tony and a bunch of fellow classmates, um, and I just kind of felt super comfortable there. Um, it was really nice to just kind of like walk in, feel comfortable, um, be given a couple like fun commercial scenes and monologues to just kind of try out with the class mm -hmm. and uh, do it. And then um, ever since then, I really kind of just got very addicted <laughs> in a good way and um, really uh, felt like um, I was going to be able to be part of something bigger, um, which I got really lucky and uh, wow. ended up being part of this thing called the Class Act that was produced by Tony Vazo wow. and uh, uh, associate producer Naomi Silva. Um, it was just, it was great, yeah. Wow, that's so amazing. <laughs> what have you learned the most of working with Tony? He's amazing. Yeah, he, he is an amazing producer. Um, just he's been so helpful on giving tons of technique just being extremely supportive um 
yeah. It goes on, right? It goes, it goes on, on and on, on. Right. exactly. So tell me, what is it that you like about her in terms of her passion and personality in terms within the acting roles as an actor? Well, uh, Lauren is really, ex Lauren is really <laughs> exceptional actress, person. She actually performed two really dramatic pieces. Mm -hmm. And the way that worked out, I tried to have each actor do a comic scene and a dramatic scene, but she filled in everywhere and anywhere. And she Universal. was really yeah. very versatile. Yeah. Uh, as she said, she <laughs> went to some classes, yes. but uh, she has a great sense of professionalism and dedication. And mm -hmm. she is such a powerful actress, and she needs to be out there. She wow. will be. That's so yes. nice. So <laughs> we're going to go to Franklin Avenue on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm referring to the name Franklin Avenue train station. Anyway. Well, happy birthday, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I want to hear how did you get into, like, a class actor? So, and you've done, like, also... Mm -hmm from NBC shows and you, well, from like Law and Order. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. So well, tell us about it. Yeah, well, thank you for having me on your show. Mm -hmm. You know, I, um, it's beautiful, it's freezing in Florida right now. <laughs> 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 but, um, <laughs> I know, potty mouth, sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm Tony. Um, um, a friend of mine back in the summer, when I came back from my vacation <laughs> down in Miami, um, she hooked it up. And she said, hey, let's try this class out. And um, I've worked with Tony back then, years, years ago, but I've never met him, I've never spoken to him. And um, just, I feel like the, I believe in God so much. I feel like the universe does meet people together. Yep. Yes, so um, because of that, um, I needed, I'm a good actor, I know that, but I needed help. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was a broken spirit in that essence and you know, I read a lot of stories from so many celebrities, independent artists, and all types of background. You need help. Yeah. And having Tony as a mentor have changed my life. You mm -hmm. know, just the techniques, um, how to say things, how to mm -hmm. talk to the audience, how to kind of like grab all their souls right. into a play, right. how to be in the moment. And that's all, I give a lot of thanks to Tony. and. Um, because mm -hmm. of him, I feel like I can do so much now with my acting. Yes. And I have been in Telemundo Casa Cerrado. You know, I've been in... You look familiar. Maybe yeah. I might have seen <laughs> you. <too. laughs> right. I, I've been on independent films on Netflix, but I've needed help as yes. well. But it, let me ask you, when you were on Casa Cerrado, what did you learn from Dr. Ana Maria Polo? Um, she's very strict. She's very harsh, mm -hmm. you did know. She, what, did, what did her advice has she given you that you've learned? Um, mm -hmm. I guess basically kind of forgive a lot of things, but also, you know, just mm -hmm. go with your guts and instincts. Sometimes mm -hmm. not yes. it's not always that I'm correct. Mm -hmm. You know, my case is actually real. A lot of things did happen to me yes. when I was a kid. But, you know, I just have to follow my guts and my heart, right. how to kind of kill things and... Yes. And let it go. Yeah, yeah yes. that's so true. Yes. What advice like would you give for uh, aspiring actors? For an aspiring actor, yes. sure. Yes. Um, like sacrifices. Yes. His um, like you know, his class. Sacrifices. sacrifices. That's sacrifices. the only one word I have. Mm -hmm. I have to give because yeah. I sacrificed a lot. I've turned down high-paying jobs to become an aspiring actor, and that's pretty yeah. big. Yes. yes. You know, Definitely. I've gone homeless. I've gone mm -hmm. broke. There are days where I wouldn't eat. Just because I wanted right. to pursue acting, and that's dangerous. Yeah. So, so, mm -hmm. so, what drives you to continue? You're putting yourself through all of these, you know, li lifestyles and livings. What drives you to continue to be an actor? Um, it's easy for yeah. people to say, you know that, what, yeah. I'm gonna uh, turn away. I want to get, and I also want to get sure. Robin in on this here, because, mm -hmm. um, so. Yes, <laughs> we, 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 she's part of this. I, because you know they're, they're trying to keep me get acting out there. Come on, Dave, let's go. So I want to hear from how did you? What was your experience like working with Tony and getting into a class act, Robin? Well, I have actually like zero experience when I first started out with Tony, mm -hmm. and I um, I was looking for a class where I would feel comfortable. Yes, as a beginner. Not knowing, I, I don't come out of the acting world. I've never yeah. wanted to be a thespian. Yeah. I, I, I um, wrote a one-woman show um, recently last year, uh -huh. and I decided I would 
the one woman is me. So I, I better get some acting chops under me and get stage presence. And what I found with Tony is that he's, uh, he's very serious, but he's very welcoming. And um, I, I, I mean, I learned a tremendous amount in just a really short time. Mm -hmm. And um, he's, he's serious, but he delivers his information only for the benefit of the actor. Mm -hmm. So um, I can't say enough good things about his approach right. and his availability and his really heartfelt, you got to care about people to do this kind of work. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, we're trying to actually, you know, act or tell a story and it has to come from your whole spirit. And Tony really is a good, you know, guide, a leader with that. So wow. yeah, totally. I really... Um, you must be getting all oh. mushy inside oh, right now. You love yeah. this, yeah. 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 Uh, this group here is the core. We had a great group the last year, which is really good. And a lot of producers or directors just want you to learn, and they only want you to learn so much so you can come back and pay more money for a class you're not going to learn so much from because they don't care. Mm -hmm. I've always in my life been a teacher. I've been taught myself. I'm using the tools I've been given to by a higher spirit. Mm -hmm. And as a human a humanitarian, as a Sagittarian, I share that fire so everyone else can burn <laughs> and not burn out. Yeah. Wow, you know? I like that. Uh, That's his, amazing. His techniques are so addicting. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like back then when I used to audition, I didn't know how to really sell my product. I mean, I've known the auditions, <clears throat> but most of my auditions I really flunked out. And when I took his class, he, I don't know, his techniques are very, mm -hmm. um, I want to say they're just magical, you know, mm -hmm. like yeah. now I feel like I can actually take his, his, you know, his, his practice, you know, you have to do this at home yeah. too. You right. have to, I, I do this in the gym, on the train, mm -hmm. wow. in my bathroom, you yeah. know, because if, as an actor, if you don't practice, Mm -hmm. then what the hell? Well, why are you an act in the first place? Right. Why are you sacrificing? Why are you turning on these jobs exactly. to become an actor? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Why are you here in the first place? Why am I on camera? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. That's why I yes. turned on these jobs, because I need to be out there. That's, That's why he's my teacher. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So, so amazing. Yes. <laughs> so I, I know we, we got to wrap this up here, but let's just oh. go down the line and see if you have any upcoming projects that you have coming up. Let's start with Robin here. Um, yeah, thank you. So my, um, my one-woman show is called A Girl Far From Normal, and it's subtitled ha How to Divide by Two and Remain Whole mm -hmm. after a mm. fatal blow to the heart. <laughs> and so um, uh, I'm okay, going to... Okay, I'm yeah. leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, I'm going big or going home. I'm going to try to get it produced and directed here in New York City. I've never done it before, but I'm going to uh, try to do my best. Yeah, so that, that's, my, that's my... That sounds uh, great. Big, uh, big dreams in 2019. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and going into uh, 2020. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have my own stuff going on. Like, I'm booking these smaller projects on my own. Um, we're working on a script with Lauren right now. And uh, it's going to be exciting. I, I wish I could do access because that's what I like to do. <laughs> You're going to date this. Yes. Yes. Come to me. Yes. Come yes. to me. Get these yes. 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 Go ahead, okay, that got me dizzy on that one. <laughs> oh, I'm still talking. No, no. <laughs> Lauren? My turn. Um, as Ray Glenn mentioned, I'm working on a script with him that was written by Tony. Um, and then um, also enrolled in his second class. So just looking to see what comes out of that. Yes. Wow. And Tony. <laughs> Well, um, first of all, let me say this before I go on. I'd like to thank my associate producer, uh, Naomi Silva, who has been my backbone for this class, for a class act. She's also an actress, and she wrote uh, a thing called A Secret Heart that Lauren did a dynamite job in, and it's about two females, uh, their friendship, and it turns out to be a loving experience but a very tragic one. So I'd like to give her a shout out. Thank you very much to my friends in the audience, Cortland, Jasmine, David, and uh, Jas David. Oh. Jasmine. Jasmine is a self-taught guitarist. 
Uh, uh, and she's a vocalist, oh. and she's shy as all hell, but <laughs> I love her dearly. And also, I'd like to say to you, David, yes. thank you very much, not just for this particular show, yes. but for everything you do and all the shows you do, because yeah. A lot of performers don't have the venue and don't have the stage and the platform to shine and be in the spotlight. And that's so cool because my CD is called TV in the Spotlight. And uh, we all want right. to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure all your audience out there loves your shows. <laughs> yeah. And stay tuned to David Martinez in the Spotlight. Also like to say that we don't are... Don't leave these two out. They're no, no, no. I, uh, I mean, you're, that's your crew. Yes. So this crew is, is part of what you do, vice versa. Yes. So they've been really great. Uh, it's a good environment. It's healthy. It's honest. And that's where I'm coming from. And I'd just like to say that we are continuing our classes uh, every yeah. Sunday uh, at... at uh, uh, at, uh, uh, no, not Champion. Uh, Pearl, Pearl Studios. Studios. Uh, Pearl Studios and Fifth mm -hmm. Avenue, 3050. If you want to yeah. get in contact and come to the class and learn and be a part of it, the Revolving Door Project at Yahoo.com or ask David Martinez in the spotlight. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thank, Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you so much for coming. Wish you luck, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yes, Thank our you. special thanks to Tony Vazo, Franklin La Paz, Laura Morgan, and Robin Marin. We'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah.